Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm testing and reviewing the TNH Outdoors. This is an inflatable sleeping pad for backpacking or camping. So these guys contacted me a while ago and they wanted me to review their pillow and their sleeping bag. And I did a review already on the pillow and here's a link for that right up here. So if you want to check that out, make sure you click on that little guy right up there and that's going to take you over to my uh, review of the TNH Outdoors pillow. Uh, I'm also in the process of still reviewing their sleeping bag. So stay tuned to my channel because I'm going to be posting that video here soon. So as I said, this is the TNH Outdoors uh, sleeping pad. This is a two season essentially. It's not an insulated sleeping pad, so I would really, I really wouldn't take this thing down to, you know, anything super cold. It does have an R value of about 2.5, so not terribly cold. But if it was like a summer or a spring uh, backpacking trip, yeah, sure, this would be a nice little uh, sleeping pad to use. All right, guys. So I'm outside and I have the TNH Outdoors. Um, sleeping pad so I'm gonna inflate this I'm gonna set it up on the grass right behind me uh, right behind the camera rather and then I'll get on top of it and I'll show you the size and how thick the pad is and I'll tell you whether or not I think it's comfortable and uh, then we'll finish up this review all right so first things first we're gonna get this thing out of its stuff sack there it is right here and one thing I do want to point out is that it also comes with a little patch kit so that's key so I'm gonna put that in my pocket just so I don't lose it. All right, so this sleeping pad has two valves. It has one valve on either end. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close off the first part of the valve on both sides, and I'll show you what that looks like. And I'll just get closer to the camera just so you can see it. So it's a dual valve setup, okay? That's gonna be your total valve. Close it and then you can micro adjust from there. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so that one's full. Close that off. Now we're gonna do this side. And you see how one side is completely inflated, the other side is not? That's kind of cool. So there's your sleeping pad all set up. Now, I'm gonna get on top of it. I just wanna see how comfortable this thing really is. I'm six foot, about 170. And you know what? It's actually not that bad. It's, uh, I got about an inch maybe, inch and a half to two inches. Eh, probably about an inch on my shoulders maybe a little over an inch on my shoulders headroom is perfect you know i mean i have a good amount of room it's not the it's not the thickest pad but it's actually kind of comfortable i like the zigzag design that it has uh really helps you know support the body support the hips and the shoulders so that kind of thing but yeah it's kind of nice i uh definitely firm enough you know, if you ever want to like micro adjust you could always pop it you know pop the valve off and then you can kind of blow it back up if it's too firm you want a little bit more soft but for the most part I think it works pretty well you know, black on the bottom so this is a lot stronger of a material and there's your sleeping pad pretty awesome so keep in mind that they do make lighter sleeping pads out there you know a lot of other companies make you know, sleeping pads that are definitely lighter than this one, but for the price point, you really can't beat it. So if you're looking at maybe, you know, I, I usually use like a closed cell foam pad and I'm not really sure I want to go to an inflatable. This is a great way to do it because you're not going to break the bank. It's going to be a quality pad and then you can decide whether or not the inflatables are going to work for you. Another thing that I like is that it folds up pretty small. So that's also a huge plus. I like the dual valve setup so that you have, you know, one side and the other. Uh, you can micro adjust if you really need to. So there's a lot of pluses there. Plus is backed by a pretty good, uh, substantial warranty. All right guys, so that's my review of the TNH Outdoors sleeping pad. This is a two season sleeping pad, so spring and summer. Um, I really wouldn't want to bring it out into anything cold weather just because it's not really insulated. It only has an R value of 2.5. For the most part, it's relatively thick. I'll get over there and I'll show you how thick it is. So, decent size. I mean, you can tell how thick that is just like that. For the most part, it's a cool pad. It's, uh, 
no, it's not, as I said, it's not gonna break the bank. It's pretty high quality, you know, substantial warranty too. So that's my review of the TNH Outdoor Sleeping Pad. If you like my review and found it informative, you wanna get one of these for yourself, use that link down in my description box down below and make your purchase. When you do, it helps support my YouTube channel and my website. So I really appreciate all the help, love, and support you guys have shown me over the past couple years. If you guys have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Make sure you leave those down in my comment section down below and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also too, please like, share, and subscribe. It really means a lot when people subscribe to my channel and like what I have to say about the gear that I'm testing. So thanks again for tuning in, really appreciate it. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor related hodgepodge, gear talk, tech and camera reviews, and giveaways. Take care guys, get outdoors.